A scenic destination and home to many, the Outer Banks coastline is a beautiful and yet delicate treasure. Storms, high winds, and tidal changes contribute to beach erosion, which not only diminishes the area of beach available to enjoy, but puts homes, businesses, and important infrastructure at risk. To restore and preserve our fragile coastline, Dare County, in conjunction with the towns of Duck, Kitty Hawk, and Kill Devil Hills are implementing critical beach nourishment projects over the summer months of 2017. After three years of planning and development, construction on the projects is anticipated to begin in mid to late May, lasting mid to late September 2017. Taking place on limited sections of town and community beachfronts, many residents and visitors may not experience any impacts during the nourishment process. However, it is important for all of us to practice patience and understanding as we work to protect our shorelines. Beach nourishment is the process of pumping sand onto an eroding shoreline both above and below the water in an effort to widen and protect the shoreline. Sources of sand may include a nearby sandbar, a dredged source such as an inlet or waterway, or an offshore borrow site along the ocean floor. The widened shoreline provides increased defense from coastal storms and beach erosion, protecting property, communities, and infrastructure located along the shoreline. Utilizing large machinery on both land and sea, including bulldozers, dredges, and large metal piping, the contractors will begin their 24-7 operations to widen select areas of shoreline and complete the project as quickly as possible. The Northern Beaches Nourishment Projects will begin in the town of Duck, and work their way south to their conclusion in the town of Kill Devil Hills. In the immediate construction zone, the sound of heavy equipment, including backup alarms, will be heard, and at night, lights will be visible. As the project moves down the beaches, a pipe will be placed incrementally to pump the sand for the project. Ramps will be provided, located at regular intervals and beach accesses, to ensure that access to the water is maintained. The beachfront and the immediate construction zone will be closed off to the public during the extent of construction in that area, lasting an average three to five days. The town of Duck will be undergoing its first beach nourishment project in the summer of 2017. The contractor, Great Lakes Dredge and Dock Company, is expected to begin construction mid to late May, with a forecast of operations lasting 60 days, ending mid to late July. The northern boundary of the project area is located just north of Oyster Catcher Lane, and the southern boundary of the project is located just north of the Army Corps of Engineers Field Research Facility. When we look at beach nourishment, we started looking at this back in the 2011-2012, around the same time Nagsun was replenishing their beach. And our first step was to contract with the Corps of Engineers for a simple study of the beach. That led to a contract with CP&E, our engineers, uh, once again, more detailed studies design and basically engineering of the beach. When we first uh, moved forward on beach nourishment, we were pretty much on our own. And uh, of course, went to the county looking for assistance with respect to funding. And Kill Devil Hills and Kitty Hawk were also looking at beach nourishment. The county kind of pulled us together uh, and we moved forward together with the same engineers, CP&E. And the real advantage was cost savings. Uh, we recognized over 17% cost savings. In the town of Kitty Hawk, construction efforts are expected to begin in mid-June and are expected to last 60 days, with an anticipated end date sometime in mid-August. The nourishment project will cover the town's entire 3.58 miles of shoreline, beginning at the town line shared with the town of Southern Shores and working south to the town of Kill Devil Hills. Simply put, we don't have any other option. Uh, Kitty Hawk has its back to the wall, has had for years and years. Uh, the ocean is right up next to homes that have been moved over the years many times. They can't be moved anymore because they're right up against the road. The ocean is also up against the road and has washed the road out numerous times, requiring sandbags by the state. That's a temporary fix. So with no other option, beach nourishment is the only thing left for us to try. We're not allowed to harden the beach in North Carolina. Bottom line is we hope that it will move the wave action further offshore. The wave run up hopefully won't come to the overwash condition as often as it has. Right now, moderate storms do it. We flood, Kitty Hawk in particular, is in a bowl east of 158, and that floods. Now that'll flood also with a rain. 
but in this case, we're trying to prevent ocean overwash. That damages all the infrastructure. We can't get emergency vehicles uh, through to help people. Roads get washed out and homes get damaged. So hopefully some of that, not all of it, but most of it will be mitigated. It's not a fix all to everything. With an expected starting date of early August, the projected duration of the town of Kill Devil Hills portion of the project is expected to take 45 days, with a forecasted completion date of early to mid-September. The nourishment project will cover 2.6 miles of shoreline, beginning at the town line shared with the town of Kitty Hawk and working south, with operations ending at Prospect Avenue. This conclusion of operations will mark the end of the county's northern beach nourishment projects. Beach nourishment is so important to the town of Kittleville Hills to protect our infrastructure. The beach is our livelihood, it's the, the key for our economy, and protecting that beach helps protect our tax base and our infrastructure. The benefit overall is storm protection, and certainly a secondary benefit is enjoyment for our locals and our residents and our visitors that come here to enjoy our greatest asset, which is the beach. It's beneficial that the town is able to collaborate with Dare County and with Duck and Kitty Hawk because of the cost savings involved. With the three municipalities going in together, we have significant shared savings, as well as the overall benefit of having larger beaches in multiple areas. It benefits the overall structure of the beach nourishment process. Further south, on Hatteras Island, the Buxton Beach Nourishment Project is meant to ensure safe and reliable access to Hatteras Island via NC-12. The project, which will be fulfilled by Weeks Marine, will span approximately 2.9 miles of beach from its northern boundary at what is known as the Hallover, north of Buxton, to its southern boundary at the oceanfront groin near the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. The project will initially widen the beach by approximately 250 feet and is expected to begin in early June 2017. Due to hurricanes, due to nor'easters, uh, gradually over the years it continued to erode uh, that area. With all the uh, nourishment going up at the northern beaches, Nags Head obviously was uh, the first to do this and, it, and it's proven successful and we need to protect this economic engine of ours and that's what brings our visitors here. That's what provides businesses here to, to make a living when the visitors come and participate and stay at our hotels, uh, dine at our restaurants, shop at our retail. Uh, it, it's our biggest asset and it's so critical to continue to protect that. Keep in mind that weather and equipment failures may cause breaks and delays in nourishment operations and that all dates are subject to change. Visit morebeachtolove.com for more information on the project's current status, to sign up for email alerts, video updates, maps highlighting work areas, and much more. <laughs>